Welcome back to the Dr. Bryson DLC. Although Dr. Bryson is not going to be featuring too much more <laughs> because he's dead. Um, we're in the search for Leviathan. We're in this weird base where everyone has been indoctrinated in some kind of way. Um, but it seems somewhat different to the Reaper indoctrination. The Re you know, I feel like the Reaper, people who have been indoctr indoctrinated by the Reapers have I've been able to maintain a guise of self, not self-awareness, but self-control, like they're, you know, just in their normal faculties, right? Whereas these guys seem kind of dulled and unified in a very, like, like they're all singing from the same hymn sheet. Uh, so we're going to keep exploring. We've got some codes to uh, get to the med bay where we believe um, the other doctor is. Uh, I'm playing, this is the next day, this isn't directly after the last session. Last session. Yes, I know, I don't belong here. Yeah, I'm getting that feeling. Alright. This is a restricted area. An active patient file number is required. File 7364. Access granted. Uh, what was the doctor's name? Kavanagh or something like that. Uh, let, let me check. Uh, Garneau. Alex Garneau is missing on Mahavid, which is under Reaper attack. Find Garneau and learn more about Leviathan. Uh, I'm thinking or I'm hoping that we're going to get to go to this garden planet that's been settled by humans as part of this DLC. I don't know how expansive this DLC is. And I don't really know how much the Aria and Dr. Bryson DLCs, how long after the release they came out. Were they day one DLCs? Were they just cut out of the game like Javik was? Or were these released much later? Because my main concern is if these were released much later, then I don't know how much of an influence they're going to have on the main story. Do you know? I feel like this will be self-contained if this came out like three, four months post-release. Are we walking into a trap? Probably. Everything's broken in here. Oh no, it's not. It's just uh, flow charts. Okay. A body. Is that Garno? I hope not. Or we've hit a dead end. <sighs> if you are looking for Garno, you have found him. I am Dr. Garno. Oh, he's, con he's of the Alliance. mind controlled as well. Are you all right? Yes. Only I'm trapped in here. Sounds awfully subdued. What's been going on in this place? I was doing my research. Until the incident. They attacked you. It's true. But aside from my confinement, I'm fine. Hmm. Yes. He has been indoctrinated too. Yeah, I need some information. But maybe we need to get him out of here. Bryson's research led me to you. Bryson sent you? Hmm. He's dead, Doctor. Killed by his assistant. I see. Yeah, he's, he's I need mind you to control. tell me everything you've found on the Leviathan. Bryson seemed to think it killed a Reaper. It's a myth. A dead end. Yep, he's indoctrinated. In your call to Bryson, you mentioned an artifact. I did? Yep. No. Yep. Yes, Doctor, you did. But now we've got Reaper forces attacking, so I need to break you out. We'll grab the artifact and go. Reapers. The darkness must not be breached. The darkness? Why do you pursue me? Mm. Doctor? He's hiding. Leave the artifact. You will not take what is mine. I don't believe we are speaking to Garneau. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> you! You killed a Reaper. I need your help. You bring more death. Yeah, so this Leviathan has managed to hide, right? 
and he's probably lived through multiple cycles. Of course, we're trapped. Someone has cut the power. There he go. Leave this place. Wait. Yeah, I understand. Back before he does. He said it was in the mines. We'll need to find a different route. Into the mines. Okay, have we got the right guns out? Yeah. notes gave us a nav point for the artifact. According to my map, there's a service door at the next tram station. Oh. Looks like we're not the only ones headed that way. I am noticing a pattern. Oh, this is an auto. Despite the law of averages, we never find the reapers moving in a direction away from us. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, one of you told me that this is an automatic pistol, and it is. Let's go. <laughs> Messes with the accuracy a bit, but... Banshee. Got e fire everything. Billy boy. Holy shit. There's the door. Okay, let's find that artifact. Man, those banshees scare the hell out of me. I think we're gonna get lots of endgame enemies here, aren't we? I like this gun, man. I just like the auto fire. It just uh, helps. You know, get a few shots off. I don't have to be like nailing headshots the whole time. Pist uh, yeah, headshot damage. Not really useful to me. Oh, 
Oh god. What was that? Looks like the door's power supply's been cut. The trouble spots are out there. We should send this repair drone. We'll need to escort it. Unfortunately, the drone is damaged and is on reserve power. Let's make it quick then. Where's Glyph when you need him? to the drone got it come on dude good job mini glyph Strong. Where's the other one? You need to be to the Crap. Bill, get out there, mate. Damn it. Oh, come on. Door should be online. Wrong gun. <laughs> Ooh, I hate those things. What are you doing, Bill? Bill just stood there. Let's get the hell out of here, guys. Use a lot of med kits there. The darkness can't be The artifact. Yeah, the Bryson's office. Yeah. I think he's just uh, an organic Shepherd, who can manage, here. who can hide. What have you right? got? That was not Garneau. This is. It appears he's been dead for a while. So <laughs> Leviathan can have Bryson killed, can take over this colony, and he can use them as puppets. Huh. Anything else useful? Encrypted data and a personal log with eight missed calls from a. Dr. Anne Bryson. Anne Bryson. Oh. Who... Who are you? 
Oh, they're all waking what up. What are you doing here? I'm Commander Shepard. Are you all right? I think so. I feel like... I feel strange, but... All right. So, the Bryson we met might not have been the real Bryson? I don't know. Do you recognize this man? I've never seen him before in my life. Someone here killed him. Someone here? How is that possible? I'm so sorry. Do you guys have any memory of what's been going on? Can you tell me anything about what happened to you? Not really. I, uh, remember... It just seemed cold. I remember a, a feeling... Cold and dark. If dark was a feeling... That's exactly what I felt. Do you know anything about this artifact before you all got indoctrinated? That artifact, do you know where it came from? Came out of the mine. Right. Head office was supposed to send someone. That's about all I can... Right. Cortez, what's your situation? Can you bring the shuttle? Affirmative. Strangest thing. A couple of minutes ago, the Reaper forces broke off and left. Reaper. <laughs> What's a Reaper? They've been here a while. What year do you think this is? 2176. 2176 was 10 years ago. Ouch. What? Let's arrange for these people to be evacuated into temporary quarantine. No memory of the last 10 years. They'll have a lot of catching up to do. Hmm. And we must be going to this uh, it now seems garden planet. Not only has the power to destroy a reaper, but possesses an indoctrination ability. Could it be a reaper itself? No. Hmm. Huh. An interesting question. Maybe it's what the Reapers were designed after. Maybe it's the creator of the Reapers. Perhaps. But why would the Reapers be trying to destroy it? But I mean, those, those orbs probably aren't Leviathan itself. It's just like a means of communicating or indoctrinating. Okay, we, we need to know more. Maybe it's the creators of the Reapers, maybe it's just an organic, like I said before, that has managed to find a way to hide from the Reapers every cycle. Even though the Reapers are aware of it, they just leave it because maybe it's a singular entity that can't reproduce. So they just leave it. Maybe it's just surviving by hiding out all this time. But it has tried things to fight back, like it indoctrinated the Rachni, right? If it is a Reaper, then I want to know what it's up to. How long has it been out here, and more importantly, why? Edie, did we get anything from Garno's notes? Yes. They suggest that Garno created a way to block the artifact's mind-affecting properties. The artifact seems to be the key. Hmm. Agreed. When I head back to Bryson's office, I want you there. Yes, Commander. I want to know just what the hell these artifacts really are and what they can do. They're powerful, whatever they are. And dangerous. We've got one sitting right in the middle of the citadel. Hmm. Oh. Any messages? Thanks, trainer. Commander. Man, I'm loving this. I am loving this. Lee Riley reporting in. My squad continues to defend the fuel reactor on Sion. The Reapers seem intent on taking it down. Not on my watch. We'll hold the line. Lee Riley. Good job, buddy. Good job. Any new dialogue? Commander? Leviathan's mental restraints ah. are odd. My AI shackles served similar purposes, but why add sensations of darkness or cold? Might not be speaking in literal terms. How's the ship holding up, Edie? The envelope of mass free space we create when we travel at FTL limits any impact of micro-collisions with ambient dust. Nevertheless, 
Some ablation does occur at subluminal speeds. We've heard this Normally one. Normally we'll need maintenance before the year is out. DLC here. If we live that long, I will totally spring for it. Hello, Shepard. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get anything new, but I'll just have a quick check, see if anyone's moved. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Donnelly and Daniels, they're doing the deed. <laughs> <laughs> no, not not really. They're uh, they're having some alone time, it seems. We'll go and interrupt that, <laughs> right? And then we'll head back to the Citadel. Anna Bryson, maybe she's the real person behind this. I'll check. I'll check on everyone quickly. If they've not actually got anything to say, rest in peace, Legion, Modin, Thane. This leviathan thing can just nice. kick you out of your own head? I don't know what's worse, killing people outright, or making them suffer like that. Hey there. Okay, so some people, everyone's going to have a bit of input. Beautiful. Maybe the dots are well. Hello, Commander. Nope. One of you also suggested that I maybe use Tali's defense drone. Instead of AP rounds, and then we could put, uh, then instead of having the AP, because that is very useful, I'd, I would put um, an armor-piercing weapon mod on instead. Strange stuff back on that asteroid. We've seen indoctrination before, but ten years. Leviathan had its own private army. You've got to wonder how much longer that would have lasted if we hadn't come along. Just when I thought we were getting a handle on Reapers, this happens. Maybe Leviathan's more than a bullseye. The fact that everyone has input here is making me think that this DLC was cut content, to be honest. So, who needs their ass kicked now? Do you know what I mean? Like, all the other DLCs had none of the side characters in, had none of the main crew in, because it was made afterwards in Mass Effect 2. It was only Shepard. Please, enjoy your day. Any squad mates you brought along literally said nothing, right? My sources told me the production numbers were wrong at that mining facility. I assumed they were just smuggling red sand. I never took the time to look closer. Mm. Too much intel. Too many places for secrets to hide. I'm going to have to start sleeping less. <laughs> Hello, Shepard. See you, Glyph. Alright. Let's see what these two... We're up to down here. Said they were on the stairwell. Oh, hello, Commander. Oh. We were just uh, double checking the thermal ducts. I'm it's sure okay. you were. Carry on. Commander? Shepard. Oh, that's nice. Finally. <laughs> right? Do you think Shepard noticed? I'm sure she did. I'm so embarrassed. You were hugging. You've got clothes on. It's fine. People have been caught doing much worse things than hugging. Do you ever feel awkward being the only Turian on the ship? I don't know. Should I? I just mean not having anyone else like you around. Mm, doesn't seem to bother Liara. But she can eat their food. That's a good point. That mining facility. All those people indoctrinated, losing ten years. I can't even imagine what that's like. Yeah, I lost two. How many other people out there are trapped like that? We need to find Leviathan. Good to see you. Nothing to report, Commander. What about your missing engineers? Vickers. I saw many strange things in our war against the Reapers. An entire settlement of Densorian were once studying things far beyond their knowledge. Hmm. Celestial mechanics, morphological simulations of galactic language. Things even we didn't understand. At the time, I thought they were crazy. Maybe Leviathan. But now, after what occurred on that asteroid, I wonder... DLC character commenting on a separate DLC. Hmm cut content. 
the evidence mounts. <laughs> Commander. Wonder what James's input on this deep cerebral matter is. The mining colony was completely brainwashed. And the Reapers retreat the moment the artifact is destroyed. Hmm. I don't know what's going on, but I know I don't like it. Is everything okay, Shepard? That asteroid facility was messed up. Ten years of your life, just gone. You're working out there, sending letters to your family back home. Then you wake up, and your hair's gone. Your kid's in college, and your six-pack has turned into a keg. It's just messed up. It's a very vain way of looking at it, James. Alright, uh, let's mess with our loadout then. I probably won't. Um... So, we either take the damage away, or the, the power damage increase. If we want to increase the clip. And, or add pierce. So, round, the capacity will be useful just because it's an automatically firing pistol. And then if we were to change our build to get rid of the AP rounds, we would need... Um, the piercing mod, right? Hmm. I don't know, man. Damage increase would probably be better. I wonder, I'm just going to see if I could, in fact, carry an, an assault rifle. I think we... it's looking good. Oh, that's too heavy. So, if we were just to carry a single assault rifle, one of the lighter models, most of them would be okay, especially after they'd been upgraded. Like, I could carry the Matok, which I could even upgrade again, and put a weight mod on it, right? 10%. It brings us to 200. Damage is still pretty wimpy on that though. But we could put the pierce on it, I suppose. Rounds per magazine, damage, which is pretty minimal. So I could go for something like this, and we still get our recharge speed, but we would only be carrying one weapon, obviously. I rarely switch out weapons, you see, that's my thinking, to be honest. Hmm. Not sure. could use the pulse rifle. Oh, it's already got the weight mod on it. I mean, it's only 10%. The Festen's light enough already. Hmm. Yeah, not sure about using that. I'd need to buy one or... The Valkyrie's just a bit too heavy. Otherwise I would probably use that. I mean, I'm losing 30%, right?
Uh, I'll stick with what we're doing because I don't want to waste too much time here. All right. So back to the citadel. So I'm thinking we're eventually going to end up at this moon over here, Arvuna. I'm not going to scan because I don't want Reapers here in case we have to come back. Uh, I'll, I'll have to, I'll, I'll have to come back to 100% everything eventually anyway, right? So, the Reapers obviously haven't attacked the Citadel or anything yet, so... Or at least in this game. But yeah, that orb was here as well. I don't know, maybe it was Dr. Bryson. Really him and not... Because we had that Anna Bryson, maybe that's just his wife, I'm not sure. He told us a lot about the Reapers, so I can't imagine the Leviathan was controlling the him. They've got here right away. Using Garno's data, I should be able to accomplish this without difficulty. Damn thing's been here the whole time. Why weren't we affected? Hmm. Perhaps the amount of time spent near the artifact is key. After a certain duration, it affords Leviathan an impressive mind control capability. It didn't sound like he wanted help, though. He sounded like he wanted to be left alone. I'd call it dangerous as hell. Bryson's assistant tried to kill me. Perhaps Leviathan was controlling him to protect itself, diverting people away from its trail. Maybe. It just shows we don't know mm. what we're dealing with yet. Despite the risk, this artifact remains our only link to finding Leviathan. Perhaps we could find more information about it here in the lab. Agreed. Bryson's team might have turned up something we missed. I'll look around. What? Okay. I don't I like I like this kind of thing, so. A data file. <laughs> Why couldn't we see this last time? Uh, emissions tests, artifact P3X118 by Derek Hadley. Initial tests, artifact tests negative for infrared. And ultraviolet emissions. No gamma or X-ray radiation detected. Follow-up. Artifact doesn't react to application of various stimuli. Internal readings inconclusive. No progress in determining age. Guess I stayed here all night finding out that this thing isn't really important. Fell asleep at the desk. Conclusion. Artifact is definitely inert and safe. Recommend keeping it here for reference. We should all be near it. <laughs> Maybe more useful than Leviathan in the long run. Recommend we abandon Hunt for Leviathan and seek more productive study. <laughs> oh. Testing the artifact for energy emissions. And found nothing. Still, I recommend leaving it shielded. Yeah, they found nothing because they got indoctrinated and then Leviathan made them fill out that report. Anything interesting about the artifact's structure? It is not constructed of the same compounds used in standard Reaper technology. Beyond that, nothing of relevance. Dude, stop looking at me, evil bald husk. Project information. Edie, what project was Garneau working on when he found the artifact? Basilisk. Got anything on Basilisk? Several ships, a mythical creature, and a rare mid-tier enemy type in the Galaxy of Fantasy video game. <laughs> it possesses a gaze attack capable of triggering synced animation kills. Player forms describe it as overpowered. <laughs> I meant the project, Edie. Oh. Oh. Then, no. There's got to be something here on this artifact. What about the server? Ah. Bryson's assistant wiped the office server and destroyed all backups, likely before killing Bryson. However, records show new messages on Bryson's personal comm terminal upstairs. Could be worth a look. 
Sure. Why would you want to sleep next to that? A message from Dr. Bryson's daughter, Anne. Oh, it's his daughter. According to my records, she worked with her father. I'm at the dig site in the Pylos Nebula. Project Scarra paid off. I've got another artifact like the one Garneau found. I think it could be affecting people's behavior. You need to shield the one in your office. I tried to warn Garneau, but I can't get through. We've got Reaper scouts coming in toward the main site. I'm heading to the secondary base to grab what research I can. Secondary Anne Bryson base? was attempting to contact Garneau on the asteroid colony. She seems to know something about the artifact. Yeah, she seems like she might be in trouble though. She's on the run. She sounded worried. If Reaper forces were approaching, her concern was warranted. Let's hope we get to her before they do. She said she was in the Pylos Nebula, working for Project Scarab. That cluster contains several systems. I'll call up the nebula on the galaxy map. We may also search the lab for clues to narrow down her location. Okay. Do you need any more clues or can we use all the information? The Reapers. Let's hope we find Anne before they do. Does anything in Anne Bryson's work history suggest where she might be? Nothing relevant. Any idea if Project Scarab involved Element Zero? Unlikely. We may learn more from the Project Requisitions Locker. Any correlation between Project Scarab and these unexplained creature sightings? Not beyond Leviathan itself. Task Force Aurora, current travel requisitions. Project Basilisk, team leader Alex Garneau, transport MSV Kirkwall. Project Scarab, Team leader Anne Bryson, transport MSV Icarus. Anne Bryson flew out on a ship called the Icarus. Can you track its movements? No. The Reapers have disrupted civilian comm buoys. Ah. But we might learn more if we find the ship's specifications. Buoy? Is that the American way of saying a boy? Comboy? A buoy? Wow, really? There are specifications for several ships here. We need to find the Icarus. Which ship am I looking for again? The Icarus. The Icarus. Here we go. The ship has enhanced electrostatic discharge cells. They facilitate long-range FTL travel. So they jumped to the Pylos Nebula by mass relay, then flew to another system. Yes. Otherwise, they would have chartered a less expensive ship. Okay, we can rule out the relay system. The locker is secure. We must locate an access card to open it. What about criminal activity in the Pylos Nebula? Because the area is part of the Attica Traverse, criminal reports are unreliable at best. Based on the search data, it is one of these two systems. Access card for the requisitions locker? Yes. According to records, it was last used by Anne Bryson to obtain equipment for Project Scarab. Let's see what Anne Bryson requisitioned for Project Scarab. Okay. <laughs> Didn't take breathing masks. Garden planet. Water recycling equipment. Based on what Anne Bryson did or did not requisition, the dig site was arid but habitable. Yeah. Get me a filter for systems with compatible planets. Man, why can't we look at all the stuff? Based on the data, only one system remains a viable possibility. Good. Let's go get Anne Bryson. Which one? Well, what time are we? Oh, 40 minutes, sweet. We've still got 20 minutes. See, I don't mind backtracking if uh, the situation evolves through it. Do you know what I mean? Uh, at all. Like, stuff like that is, is fine with me. 
because we're going back, we're learning stuff again. Yeah, we could do with uh, filling up our fuel though, right? Maybe there's a fuel station in the Pilots Nebula. No, absolutely not. So it's in uh, Zaharin. Okay, uh, Jonas Brothers. Jonas, a methane ammonia ice giant, is believed to be an extrasolar cap planet captured by its star. It was developed as a fuel depot serving the Pylos cluster. Eldfell Ashland Energy had established a base on one of its moons to crack water ice into hydrogen and oxygen and skim helium-3 from its atmosphere. The Reapers destroyed both the base and the abandoned infrastructure, but not before triggering a trap, a crude nuclear device meant to catch them in its blast. From orbit, the Normandy sensor can pick out a sign that some waggish employee has left on the wreckage of the moon base. Gone fission. Hilarious. We sail is a standard hydrogen helium gas giant. Though gas giants are known for their powerful magnetic fields, Isail's field is stronger than current models predict. Within the frost line of its solar system, where gas giants don't usually form, Isail is believed to have once been extrasolar. With no infrastructure to speak of, the Reapers have ignored Isail as a military target. I can't scan again without triggering the Reapers. I'm gonna stop it, Dorada. Oh, my fuel is full. Whoa. Okay, we'll read this on the way out. There's too many planets. Otherwise, I'm not going to get to Zaharin. Or well, maybe we read the planets and we, we'll have to get to Zaharin in the next episode. Yeah, that's more realistic, I think. V Viressa. With an orbital period nearly two millennia long. What? The cold and distant Vioressa was actually missed in the initial Asari survey of the system. Only a follow-up mineral assay sent to Canalis by a Volus mining concern noticed its subtle movement across the stars. Vioressa is a methane ammonia ice giant circled by a retinue of deep frozen moons. Its remoteness made it a popular drive discharge point for pirates working the Pylos Nebula cluster. As Pylos is currently unclaimed by any sovereign power, Council naval patrols are few and far between. Thus far, none of the local pirates have been apprehended, and the Reapers have shown little interest in the system. It's possible Vioressa could be used as a base of operations for fleeing ships. Yeah, I mean, the Reapers would have to be pretty thorough, right, to exterminate all spacefaring life. Races, even. Sinius, a standard hydrogen-helium gas giant. Sinius has more than 80 moons. Zeth. The enemies of the Geth. <laughs> Zeth is a common hydrogen helium gas giant. An abundance of sulfur in the upper atmosphere gives it, a dis gives it distinct yellow stri stripes. Canalus. Canalus is smaller than Earth, but has unusually high density. The high level of tectonic activity indicates that the density is caused by an abundance of radioactive materials in the core. These, combined with the planet's unusually high rate of spin, raise the planet's internal temperature and cause volcanism. While several companies performed mineral assays in the late 2170s, the world's geological instability precluded development. Ciano Ciano, named for an ancient Asari philosopher known for being a contrarian, <laughs> orbits uh, Dirada at a retrograde. My ancestors. <laughs> it's believed to be an object that fell into the system millennium, millions of years ago from parts unknown. The outermost of Dirada's two asteroid belts is thought to have been a small planetoid that was broken up by Ciano's passage into the system. Ciano is formed of low-density rock and is tidally locked to Dirada. The same hemisphere always faces the star. There's evidence that a complex of artificial structures once existed in the north of the sunward-facing hemisphere, 
but they've been badly degraded by millennia of heat and radiation. Several bunkers of radioactive waste, apparently byproducts of primitive fission plants, have been discovered on the far side. The Reapers appear to have ignored Ciano, concentrating on systems with higher population. Extinct in a different cycle, it seems. Uh, Thanusi is a small, barren rock. Though there's evidence it once had an atmosphere of carbon dioxide, only trace amounts of krypton and xenon remain. Like Ciano, it is tidally locked to Diara. Man, nothing. Signal confirmed. Got ya. Radiation shielding sheath. 50%, okay. Maybe some fuel then? Scared me then. Fine, we'll come back. Zaharin. Okay, we're gonna have to scan to find which planet it is, so we'll start from the outside. This is a beautiful planet, Rotesque. A methane soaked gas giant, Rotesque featured helium 3 collection machinery serving the colonists of Namakli. But it appears their kinetic barriers failed long ago due to neglect. The apparatus was destroyed by meteorites, probably originating in Rotesque's rings, creating one more hurdle for anyone trying to settle on the Macli. So is that a garden world or like a garden planet? Maybe? No? Namakli, an arid but habitable planet. Namakli was briefly colonized by the Pyrena Corporation a consortium of Asari colonists and socialized Vorcha laborers. After an economic downturn, however, many Asari left the planet and the Vorcha population kept growing to the point where they bred faster than could be educated. Soon they turned violent and uncontrollable and the colonies essentially self-destructed. Today, Namakli is a wasteland with little population, but Vorcha packs are scattered across the deserts. Settlers frequently run into these packs, discouraged, discouraging recolonization. The lack of complex biota and scarcity of profitable metals drove the last few proverbial nails into, into Namakli's coffin. No one has stepped forth in, forth in the past few years with the will, the funding or the firepower to establish a permanent colony. I imagine that's where we're going, so... Azaras. Azrahas is a hothouse planet rich in nitrogen, methane and ethane, similar to Namakli it's metal poor. Additionally, it's suspected that few asteroid impacts have struck it over the millennia, precluding accessible deposits of common precious metals in the crust. Decrepit Asari orbital stations from scientific expeditions long ago circled the planet. None display signs of occupation. I meant to say, you know, those the people on that asteroid base who've been indoctrinated for 10 years, they were all probably like, oh my god, 10 years, but the Asari was probably like, meh. <laughs> 10 years, who cares? Whereas everyone else has just lost a significant portion of their life. Uh, Estag. Estag was discovered by a joint Asari Vorcha exploration team and abandoned shortly thereafter. The planet's light atmosphere of nitrogen and krypton is not overly hostile to Vorcha, but its heat makes it uninhabitable except in expensive habitats. Its low density precludes the presence of many valuable minerals. So settling the planet was deemed not worth the effort. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sound like a vorture. I found something. Of course you did. I'm turning into a vorture. <laughs> <laughs> 
Search successful, scans have located a close grouping of environmentally shielded habitats and an active power source. Closer examination is required to confirm dig site presence. We have located Anne Bryson's dig site. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to leave the episode there just because we're on 50 minutes, so we might as well save <coughs> the dig site while I slowly transform into a vulture. So, uh, yeah, we've got a bit more inf uh, We don't really know what the, what the Leviathan is, really. We know that these orbs uh, interconnected. They control humans. The cerebral presence of the Leviathan can exist through these, I guess. So I don't know what it is, whether it, these are like remote communication pods or whether it's maybe some kind of ethereal creature that doesn't have a physical body or it exists within these kind of orbs. I don't know if, if it did, I, I doubt it would be so willing to destroy one of them. They must be just a means of communication. So Interesting. We'll pick it up from here in the next episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a like if you did. And just remember, everyone, never trust an on-crate. See you next time.